Hello everyone, this is my review of Time Capsule. I watched it last night. It's a sci-fi romance movie with Todd Grinnell and Brianna Hillbrand and directed by Erwin Marshall. This movie really talks about the extension of someone going through a time capsule going 10 years in space and then coming back and not having age today, which is Brianna Hillbrand's character. And she comes back to their hometown of Georgia where Todd Grinnell is a congressman and he lives in the city and him and his wife go to a vacation home in Georgia where they're wanting to take the load off and take a break and then suddenly he bumps into his first love and obviously from the moment when they're on camera their chemistry is undeniable there's sparks there's stories that they tell there's times that they have and also, this story talks about the age gap between relationships is another thing that I think is interesting about this movie is that it talks about the age gap between relationships. Also, the very fact that his wife is controlling and manipulative and wants him to just be this big congressman. And also, he's had slip ups where he's, you know, cussed in front of children and was in the heat of the moment. And also, it just seemed like when he was being himself, when he was just enjoying himself, like, you know, having a night out with his former girlfriend and old time friend, it seemed like he was getting a piece of his childhood back. It seemed like he was getting a piece of himself back. And I thought that it was kind of beautiful to see the contrast of like, oh, I'm this older person now. I have problems, I have troubles, I'm a grumpy adult. And then coming from the perspective of Brianna's character, Elise, uh, and Jack, which is Todd Grinnell's character, to see the contrast of like, oh, I'm this adult. And then she's like, well, I went 10 years and not changed at all. And I don't have the similar tastes as people. I don't recognize the people that I used to know. I don't recognize the landscape that I used to encompass. And so it was kind of like tugging at my integrity a little bit, or my heartstrings, if you will, because of the very fact that both sides of the spectrum, people are still judgmental about this subject, but also the very fact that Jack still really cared about her, really loved her, and she loved him for who he was, not his wife. So it seemed like he was kind of getting a wake-up call about not wanting to pursue this career in politics. And then even the scene where he's being interviewed and he just tells the reporter off, I thought that was so good, where he just basically says, I'm human, I'm just a human being. You know, I'm, I'm just who I am. And also when there's, they're having dinner and Elise, Brianna Hilberg's character, you know, comfortably talks about going into like the nothingness, going into the black space, and also talking about, you know, basically being someone that everybody looks at as a child, you know, even though she doesn't feel like a child, she feels like an old soul at heart. And that's one of the things meditatively that I took in and I'm like, wow, because I've always felt like as, as a young person, I always felt like I was interested in different things you know i was interested in different movies and different types of music and you know my interests were much different and the way i presented myself was much different than a lot of other younger people and i could relate to that so there was both sides of the spectrum and i think that the film does great with the chemistry between the characters i think the pacing of the film isn't bad I think it has something to say, and I also I think the camera angles were great, and I also thought it was great that they implemented a futuristic world, which was interesting, and it felt like they were trying to convey something, and also the part where they're at a party with a bunch of people, and there's fireworks, and it's just artificial, you know, intelligence, you know, in the sky, and it was so beautiful, you know, so I felt like this movie was conveying something where I think the movie kind of loses its luster is kind of at the end where they rush things and you didn't really get like the romance kiss at the end or seeing each other again because he went, you know, into the time capsule himself and said he was going to meet her and you kind of already know uh, what's going to happen. But no, I thought this movie was enjoyable. I thought the actors really had chemistry. I thought Todd Grinnell and 
Brianna Hildberg had great chemistry like together and it felt real. It felt more real than what his wife, his wife was really just trying to be his mom. And also I thought his wife was really rude to Brianna Hildberg's character in the movie as well. And she didn't seem like she was genuine. She seemed like she was just proper housewife, very fake, very jealous of what they had because it was true love. It wasn't just something that they did working together. Um, but no, I love like the aesthetic of the movie. I love the old trucks in the movie. I love the town that they filmed this in. It feels uh, like Georgia. And I love like the old movie theater. And I like that Jack goes into his, his, his experience through the sense of his own childhood that he's getting back. And I think he's getting a piece back of himself. And I think all of us can understand this, that we don't necessarily want to grow old and bitter. You know, we don't want to be someone who hates life and blames everybody else for their problems. Or, you know, if we feel like we can leave things, we should feel like we can leave them. And I think that's what this movie portrays in a great way. Um, I just felt like there, at the end, it just, it's pretty rushed, but you get the point. Um, but I think it's a good experience. I don't think it was a wasted experience. And it's one of the more lighthearted things that I've reviewed on the channel too, because the last couple movies were a little brutal, even though I enjoyed them. Um, but no, the reason for these is really, what do we learn from watching movies? What do we learn from how we take in art or how we take in things meditatively or even within our own lives, how we can attribute this to our own lives and the, the taboos that this movie was tackling on. And also the very fact of like, not everybody has to be some extravagant person with this crazy life. Sometimes we can do something simple and we can still be happy with our existence, you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I think I like that about the film too. I think you guys should check it out. It's a good movie.